In yesterday's video, I went into my fridge and pulled out bags and bags of chestnuts, acorns, and butternuts. I wanted to see if they had sprouted. Some of them did, some of them didn't. In today's video, I'm gonna take those sprouts and make them into seedlings. So I've got these bags of sprouted chestnuts and acorns. Unfortunately, the butternuts did not sprout. Over the last several months, I've been hoarding half gallon milk containers, most of them almond milk, because that's usually what we end up drinking. Because I'm cheap, what I'm gonna do today is make these almond milk containers into little planters for my seedlings. It's very easy to do. So what you need is some sort of saw, it could be a hacksaw, it could be a you know, regular saw, it could be pretty much anything that will give you a nice clean straight cut. So what I'm gonna do is, see this line where it's scored right here? I'm just gonna make a nice clean cut right across it. Unfortunately, I didn't clean this one out as well as I probably should have. What you do now is you have this little carton that looks roughly like this. And then what you do next is you take a drill. I don't know, this is maybe like a 5 8 bit. It doesn't really matter. Just a good size. You don't want it too tiny. And you make a couple of holes. And then, ta-da, you have a planter. So one fair warning, if you actually use like a cow's milk thing, be ready for a smell that is absolutely worse than death. Definitely smells like a dead body in there. Now as far as soil goes, I'm just using kind of a standard potting blend. Um, it's actually leftover stuff that I had from last growing season. I'm just going to put this stuff in here pretty liberally. Fill it up about two-thirds of the way. So we have about 45 containers here now. Um, so I know I have more seed than that, but we'll take some of the best, healthiest looking seeds We'll let the ones that are really mildewy go, and this should all even out roughly. But before I put the seeds in, I'm gonna start by watering. There's no outdoor water source here at the apartment, so the only way I can get water out there is by going to the kitchen sink, filling it up, and bringing it back outside. And now comes the moment we've all been waiting for, putting the seeds in. So to give you a little frame of reference of what we're looking at here, here is an acorn that's ready to be planted. So what I'm doing here is just looking for the guys who are sprouting, setting them aside, all the other guys tossing away. Good one, look at that guy. He's just busting out. See that? I'm gonna be doing two acorns per container. Um, just because I have a lot more acorns than I do containers. And you know, we got nature. Tree seedlings will sprout all on top of each other and they'll sprout with like grasses and all sorts of competition. So the idea that I'm forcing competition on these guys isn't such a bad thing, um, even if it's in a milk container. And well, there you have it an entire forest planted on a back porch in Washington, D.C. It's gonna take a lot of years and sunshine and water for these guys to actually amount to something, and most of them aren't gonna make it, but I'm hopeful. 
Uh, I'll try to keep making some update videos throughout the course of this year to show you how these seedlings take and hopefully I'll be making a video of planting these guys later this fall. Until then, uh, fingers crossed. Thanks for watching.